That last get night, when you tried to have sex with me, I pretended to be tired because I didn't want to lead you on. Willow, what's your biggest turn off? Oh. oh. Wait, turn off? Turn, turn, turn off. off. Liars. Liars. Can I ask you one question? Do you trust Judith? I'm not sure. Okay, I have a question not for you. Not sure means no. Do you trust Willow? Well, it depends in what kind of. No, no, no. no. Oh, I'll just say oh, yes. No, no, no. Oh, yes. Were you happy to see Willow with him? I was shocked. I put the summer completely behind me and I lived, I was starting to live my life back in London. When you arrived, I was like, oh, wow. But why were you texting me then? We weren't texting that much. You texted me multiple times when I was away asking because where I was. I, you asked Izzy where okay, I was. Okay, but this is almost like a weird conversation. I'm going to be honest, I find it difficult to commit to people when I don't feel like secure in the way they are acting towards me. And I don't know how you how you feel. And I don't know where your head's at. Uh, why don't I just tell you how I feel? We feel. OK. Let's hear like, it. I, I, I love your company. I think you're awesome. But I don't see myself being in a relationship with you. And I don't see myself being committed to you. I think you should have told me that a little bit sooner, maybe, no? <laughs> um. Do you not think you should have waited to tell Miles and Izzy about quite hurtful things that I've heard about me coming from your mouth? Probably should have told me I, first. I'm, I'm, that, I'm sorry that they are hurtful, and I and I, I'm are sorry. You, I'm sorry Julius, that I, I'm because... sorry that they are hurtful, but they are honest. Oh my god, I you did... love to throw this word around, honest. But like to be completely honest, I don't feel like you've been honest at all. Put yourself in my shoes, right? I am here from my best friend that you are saying that you have no sexual attraction to me. Didn't and the that. fact that you think... Didn't say that. Wait. The fact that you think that it's funny to make a joke about combining the sex you had with India with my personality is really a little bit f***ed up. I'm not saying I have zero sexual attraction to you. Never said that. It should have happened... And the fact that you said to Izzy that if you, if you wanted to have sex with me, you could have is a lie. You remember the last night in Mallorca when you tried to have sex with me? How many nights was I at your house, Julius? Um, five. Exactly. Six. How many nights did you try to have sex with me? One. Are you delusional? You, do you remember the final night when you tried to have sex with me? And the other four? I didn't. There was only once when I tried. You to just sex. said that. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. I don't. Maybe, maybe you're getting it completely wrong. How? What am I getting wrong? We were in bed making out. I mean, I don't really know. That how last you can get night that wrong. when you tried to have sex with me, I pretended to be tired because I didn't want to lead you on. Amazing. Really, really shows your true colours and. I think that that in itself shows that you can't be honest with someone. So um, I'm really, really, really glad we had this chat and I feel like everything's been very cleared up and um, I'm going to go. I've been wanting all evening to speak to you. Um, I'm sorry about what I said to you. I hope you know that the reason being was because I, I didn't want to lead you on after the whole entire India thing. And something was missing and I don't know what it was. The comments of like, I'd like to pick this part of India and this part of Willow, like it's Build-A-Bear, is not. I mean, look, the comparison to you and India thing was done in a very jovial and jest That's way. Really funny. And sadly, you had to hear it from someone else's mouth. That was never meant to ever come to your ears. and. You know, I want you to know that I do, like, love hanging out with you and I do think you're great and I want you to know that you can count on me in London because you don't know many people here. Like, I really genuinely enjoyed your company, but it was a bit of a slap in the face to have it turn so sour so quickly. And that's why I would hate to lose that, you know, fun connection, friendship that we have with, if, if, you know, if you also wouldn't want to lose it. And it's, Ultimately, I just don't want you to feel like that I'm, I made you feel like That's, I'll, I want to make you feel good. I want you to feel good here. I want you to have an amazing time in London, right? And now you're smiling, so I think you do too. So. I want to have a great time in London. And also, like, I can, I can now wingman you. I mean, like, I could, I could literally be going, <laughs> I could be going around like spraying all the men in the room and just arousing them for you. Like too magic. Soon. Too soon. Yeah, maybe a bit. Too soon. <laughs> but you never know. We could get there. Let's hope. Friends. Friends.